co-main event for Bellator 270 features a bantamweight bout between the American Patchy Mix versus James Gallagher, the hometown boy from Ireland. Now, Patchy Mix, who goes by, quote, no love. That's a unique nickname for a fighter. Well, I guess it may make sense, right? No love. I got no love for you, right? 14-1 and one overall. 4-1 in his last five fights. Coming in right now is a minus 270 on the money line. He hails from Albuquerque, New Mexico, 28 years old, 5'11 in height with 71 and a half inch reach. And he's coming out of Jackson Wink MMA, so very good training. Um, and he's got a very good record of 14-1. And, and we'll talk about his lone loss here in a second. As for James Gallagher, who goes by the Strab Animal, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but his nickname is the Strab Animal. There must be some kind of an Irish uh, lingo there. He's 11-1 and one overall, so he's only got one loss. He's 4-1 in his last five fights, currently plus 220-ish on the money line you can get him at. 25 years old, so a few years younger than Patchy Mix. He's 5'8", so 3 inches shorter than Patchy Mix, and he's 67-inch reach, which is going to give him also a 3-4-inch to four inch disadvantage in the reach compared to Patchy Mix. And he's also coming out of SBG Ireland, which you're going to hear that again and again and again. Um, I'd say almost every single fighter on this card who's coming in from Ireland is also coming out of that gym, which is Conor McGregor's you know home club there. Now, as for the public vote here on Tapology, Mix is getting... 76% of the votes compared to Gallagher at 24%. I'm a little surprised, and I'm even a little surprised at the money line. When I've looked at the film of these guys, just my opinion here, I think they're like super close, you know, very even fighters. Like experience wise, 14 and 1, 11 and 1, right? Uh, IQ, they both tend to hold their own in there. They know how to grapple, they know how to wrestle. So even on the IQ, cardio wise, you know, I've seen both guys go long fights. I've seen both guys be able to sustain their momentum in two, round two, three, four, five. So I like that as well. And for finishing ability, again, very similar. You know, it should be noted here, okay, in terms of their Bellator records, all right? For James Gallagher, he's eight and one in Bellator, right? And of those eight victories, six of them he has by submission. And it's a weird stat, but he's actually tied for the third most submissions ever in Bellator history. Now, Bellator history is a young history, and obviously fighters move around from different promotions, but... He's a submission monster, and with the short arms and the wrestling technique, that's where he wants to sort of, you know, take the fight. All right. Now, as for Patchy Mix, he's three and one in Bellator, and he has three submission finishes. So all three of his victories are by submission. Now, it, I want to note this because even though Patchy Mix has only a few more fights professionally on his record than James Gallagher, and Gallagher has more Bellator fights, Patchy Mix has a much more experienced uh, amateur record. So he fought a lot of amateur fights. Very good record there. So when you're talking about like overall experience. That's why I have them both at the same. One guy has more amateur fights. The other guy has more Bellator fights. Um, so pretty much at the same point. Now, James Gallagher is younger at 25 than 28-year-old Patchy Mix. I don't think age is a factor. I don't think gym's a factor. They both have very good gyms. But what I do like about James Gallagher is two things. One, he's fighting on home turf. I'm going to keep mentioning that throughout those breakdowns on, on, these, on this card. And secondly, he's, like, he's a grappler by nature. All right? So a guy who can grapple and wrestle... They have, a, they have a way to basically neutralize the opponent, right? So for Patchy Mix, he does do a good job grappling. He is a good wrestler. But his advantage for the length and arm length, right, his advantage to strike is going to be neutralized if the fight ends up being close. And now we're pretty much even, right? We're two wrestlers, guys who could both reverse position, guys who are both formidable on the ground, who could submit people. Again, six submissions out of eight fights in Bellator here for, for James Gallagher. So it's dangerous for both guys. But I imagine that's where Gallagher wants to fight. He wants to get the fight in close. He wants to bring the fight to the ground. And being that he's in front of the hometown, he's a plus 220 underdog, you could bet on Patchy Mix. And don't get me wrong, you could put $275 up to win 100 bucks. But the reality is this fight really is close. It's almost a pick em, in my opinion. And so since it's a pick em, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fade Patchy Mix and go on the side of James Gallagher. I uh if the if the line was even, maybe you look at Patchy Mix and you take a double take. But what I like about Gallagher is the reality here. This guy is young. He's got the momentum. Um, and I want to talk about something personal here that I thought was really, to me, it kind of popped out. We think of Conor McGregor and you think of the Irish fighters. You, you, this, who's the other guy? Patty. The, 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 the recent guy, Patty, with the, the bowl cut. who looks like he's from uh, Quaker Town over here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it looks like a damn Quaker. Anyway, this like brash, like peacock chest, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the shit walking around like Conor McGregor style. That's not James Gallagher. The dude has a tremendous level of charisma, respect um, for his opponents, for referees, for everyone around him. There's a few links here in the description. You can see his prior fights. Watch how he is. Watch his demeanor. He's extremely respectful of his opponent. 
respectful of the referees, other coaches. He's nothing like the loudmouth, cocky ass European fighters that you may have seen from other promotions or may have seen from Connor. And I'm not saying that because I have anything against it. I'm just putting it out there that in terms of how he handles himself, he handles himself like a 35 year old man, not a 25 year old young up and coming fighter. A lot of respect, which also tells me he's mature. He's channeling his energy in the right direction. At 25 years old, in a co-main event here for Bellator, in his hometown in Ireland, the fire is under his ass, okay? He knows what's at stake. Now, could he still lose the fight? Is, pa is Patchy Mix uh, some kind of a can he could roll over? No, 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 no. Patchy Mix is legit. And one of the things about Patchy Mix I like a lot, he's a, he's a strong first-round fighter. So he gets off to a good start. He presses the, presses the tempo. He wants to bring the fight to the ground. He's got energy. Problem is, if you look at his fight against Archuleta, he goes in and wins round one. Every single judge, I believe, had him winning that fight. Maybe, maybe it could be off on one judge. But I believe most judges on that, on that fight against Archuleta had him winning round one. And I think two of the three judges had him winning round two. But then he loses round three, four, and five on almost every single judge's scorecard. Why? He fades. So at some point after round two, his energy level goes down a little bit. He's not able to keep that wrestling tempo. He's not able to keep putting the pressure on. And so for me, that's a little bit of a flag. It's not a big flag because I do think his cardio is actually okay. It's just that the reality is when he lost against Archuleta, he did win the first part of the fight. And Archuleta just took him to deeper waters and was more busy later on in the fight and actually gets the win. Now, one more fight for Patchy Mix that I want you to look at, and I have the link there in the description too, is the Morales fight. In 2021, which is just this year, he beats Morales. Now, Morales is 10-8-1. He's basically a 500-level fighter, right? That fight goes all the way into, what, round three? And in round three, Patchy Mace gets an armbar. Let's pretend it's a contender series match, right? Let's pretend Dana White's sitting there with his little notes and it's Dana White contender series. He doesn't give a contract for that because the reality is when you're going against a guy who's a 500 level fighter and at that time you're 13 and one and you're one of the highlights of the Bellator division and you're a guy that's looking down the co-main event, right? And you go to round three with a guy like that, another red flag for me. It's like, wait a second. Is James Gallagher better than Morales? Uh-huh. Uh huh. He's definitely better than Morales. So imagine if you start lining those comparisons up. Is James Gallagher give him more of a problem on the ground? Yeah. Can he submit James Gallagher? Can Patchy Mix submit James Gallagher? Yes, he can. But we're talking about a guy who at 25 years old has the third most submissions ever in Bellator history. Six of his eight fights, he's won by submission. Not going to be easy to submit that kind of guy. He's shorter. He's stockier. He wants to work in close. He's going to have the leverage advantage because he's shorter. So to me, this is a pick -em. I could see the fight going either way. But if you're going to wager on it, take that plus money at plus 220. I, I'm not going to be shocked if the week, if the, as the week goes on, we're going to have that line move a little closer to like minus 190-ish. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, minus 190 for Patchy Mix, like plus 180-ish or so for, for James Gallagher. Because, look, he's got the juice right now. And when I'm looking at a guy like Patchy Mix at 20 years old, I hate to say it, but I see him approaching his peak, whereas Gallagher is just scratching the surface. I got to say it one more time love the demeanor his attitude his maturity um it goes a long way man guys get into that ring sometimes or that octagon they lose their emotions they lose their cool um they can't keep it together again a connor ref a connor mcgregor reference connor mcgregor is a legend so i'm not giving opinions on whether i like the guy or not he's a legend but all the talking that he's been doing before these fights that has not helped him <laughs> at all okay khabib literally almost suicide ki almost killed everybody in his corner okay almost killed everyone like a mass murder so the talking that conor mcgregor has been doing has not waged well for him in the ring it's nice for promotions it's kind of like this guy um fighting this weekend colby covington the talking is great like for wwe fans and the wrestlers who want to hear all that nonsense and promote the fight it's great for that but once you step in the octagon that shit doesn't help you it's going to be the calmer, cooler, collective fighter who's going to channel his energy into winning the fight that's going to help. And so not that Patchy Mix is a loud mouth who's going to waste his energy, but I believe James Gallagher right now at 25 years old, this guy has a chance to maybe carry the torch there from, from Conor McGregor. He has a chance to be one of the next Irish fighters that's really, really good and up and coming. He's obviously at a very good gym. So I like Patchy Mix to win the fight, and I'm going to keep probably favoring a lot of the Irish fighters. This fight is in Ireland for a reason. This guy is set up to, to, to do a good job here. As for Patchy Mix, I'm not surprised if he wins the fight. He's no slouch. He's coming in here knowing he's going to be off his U.S. turf. He's going to be in a foreign country. He's going to have people booing him. Um, he's black, so not for nothing. I'm going to just shoot you guys straight. Like, not a lot of black people in Ireland, okay? 
So I'm not going to get on to that. But the point is, he's going to hear the boos. They're going to want James Gallagher to win. And if it goes to decision, oh, I'm definitely on the side of James Gallagher. There's no question about it. Any kind of close fights that's going to happen there in Ireland, they're going to give it to the hometown boy. So there's our breakdown, guys. If you don't agree, let me know. And if you do agree, give me a shout. Let us know how you think about this fight. Let me know what you think. Am I missing something on here? Is Patchy Mix better than what I'm describing? Am I undercutting his ability? Am I selling him short? Um, how do you guys feel? Let me know.